to go with some nighttime gardening. It's a Memorial Day walk through my garden. Or Memorial Night walk. Got to do some weeding. It's one of my potato patches. It is huge. These leaves. Yeah. Few my little watermelons. Cabbage. Watermelons, sunflowers, Brussels sprouts. Broccoli, iceberg lettuce, I just picked these a few days ago, are you going some more, that was the romaine. Little brown tree plants, get some fruit. Spinach, mustard greens, beet. Spaghetti squash. This is the honey, honey nut squash. It's a summer, it's a spaghetti type squash. Here's my big old pumpkins. Teddy's little wheelbarrow. <laughs> Some peas. White radishes. I'm fixing to go to pick this whole radish bed. Replant her some red radishes. Purple kale. Very pretty. A little green kale. It just hasn't grown. I don't know what the deal is with it. My little salsa garden. Tomatoes. Different things. Borage plants. Roma, poblano pepper,
banana pepper, bell pepper, and here's the two Carolina Reapers. This one and this one. Oh, look at that little peppers. <laughs> Let me just pick them so it'll go. This is my little child bed that did not do good. I don't, I don't know what I done wrong. I do have a little deal I mixed in with it that's doing all right. There is a few little chives. I'm just going to let them grow with the weeds. I'll come to weed it a little bit. Cilantro is doing pretty good. Here is the tender green bush beans. Down through this row. Doing pretty good. And that's the big old long yellow bush beans and some royal purples planted in there too. My little pollinators, flowers through here on the end. Yep, marigolds on the end here. This is my tomato patch. Got 12 tomatoes. Just in this little garden with various herbs and marigold, basil, just different things in here. Trellises. Okay, I'm gonna let them grow up on. Basil. Here's ghost pepper. Habanero. Cayenne. Or basil. Jalapeno. Here I'm in clean. Bell peppers. And basil. Or borage. Here's my sweet potato and black bean patch. And my black bean, bush beans. Sweet potato. I got them flea beetles on my eggplants. Uh, put some diametric earth on it the other day it seems to have stopped it a little bit I'll have to do it again onions purple white yellow onions here's my archway This is for the English cucumbers. And my pickling cucumbers. So I really take off. My white corn. My zucchini squash.
Angelica's Bee Balm. Candula. Pole beans. Gonna be old squash plant. There's a parsley. This is all peaches and green. Down this row. This is some white sweet corn, I believe, if I remember right. Some more squash. Cooked egg squash. Really need to go through and thin this. You see the aluminum full so many squash plants and the base that's where the vine boy beetles plant their eggs apparently if you put the aluminum full it seems to help some of Michaela's little herb beds So here's the rooster I bought for Jessica the other day. It's taller than me. <laughs> We're thinking about putting up posters of famous roosters in our hen house. Like uh, Chicago. Shanti Claire from Rocket Doodle, uh, Foghorn, Leghorn, you know, just different roosters, pictures around the in house. I think it would be pretty neat. I can't hardly see in there. Right, let's go in and look. Still haven't started uh, roosting yet. So. Hey girls, how are y'all doing? It's beautiful in right there. Oh, beautiful. Got him out here watching out for him. Hey, what are you doing, buddy? Take care of them hands now. Here's Jessica's little garden. Little garden she put on the side of the shed. It's got lavenders and rosemary. Yeah, 
Here's some tomato plants I pulled. Some uh, uh, suckers I pulled. I'm trying to make new plants out of. Some more I put down in some rainwater. See, we'll try to plant them tomorrow. More herbs. Here's her banana trees. Over here, I think it's the two of the mammoth uh, elephant ears. I'll go over here and look at some when I pruned my squash the other day and uh, thinned it I pulled up some plants and put them in the dirt just to see what they do some zucchini, some crooked squash, and another squash. And we'll just see how they do. And if they do good, I'll give them to some people. On this end, the zucchini. Quite a few of them are doing okay. You got a few of them that are a little weak looking. But the leaf looks good, so it may survive. A few that aren't so great, and they're not too good. We'll just probably pick it. Leave some of it better, so we'll leave it. That's probably not gonna make it. It's okay, can't win them all. Here's some volunteer tomatoes from last year that came up in the garden. And I found and pulled them out, put them in pots. And that's my Memorial Day look at the garden. Have a nice day.